Riders, I've partnered with Queen Beauty Studio to purchase these amazing lashes and other deliciousness like this wonderful matte lipstick I'm wearing. Grab that link. You'll be glad you did. Stay in love. Hello, hello, hello. Vanessa Klinger here. I'm offering a special coaching session just for you. For those of you who feel as if there's no love in your life, I can help you find it by providing tools and techniques that will bring you immediate results. Go to www.vanessaklinger.com, schedule a session, and I'll take care of you. Stay in love. This week's episode is sponsored by Dollhouse of Tampa Salon and Studio. Find your inner doll. They offer quick weave, sew-ins, and much, much more to fit every occasion. Need a wig? Selena's got you. She will customize a unit just for you. Book your next appointment on Bootsy today. Did someone say nails? Honey, forget the Bayhive. Contact Queen Bee herself. She offers customized designer nails and even designer press-ons that she will customize and ship to you. Braids, braids, and even twists. Book with Tiffany right on Facebook. Find your inner doll at Dollhouse Tampa Salon and Studio. Tampa. Hello, hello everyone. I am Vanessa Klinger, your intuitive life strategist and life coach motivator. Welcome to the Ride Along with Vanessa Morning Show. We provide you 100% free coaching at your service. Raw, real enlightenment at its best. So come on in and enjoy the ride as we take you higher into the dimensions of God. It's a brand new season. It's a brand new network. And guess what? Everything is going your way. You guys ready? Let's go. intuitive life strategist and life coach motivator welcome to the right along with vanessa morning show where we provide you 100 percent free coaching at your service raw real enlightenment at its best so come on in enjoy the ride as we take you higher into the dimensions of god okay listen okay listen all right so um it is fun fantastic funky friday and i'm just glad to be here right I got up early. I got everything together. I feel like I'm on top of things. I feel like I'm in the flow and I'm in harmony and I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I'm telling you guys. So I hope you had an amazing week. And if you didn't, stay tuned. Tune in. Join me this morning because I have an excellent word for you. Just one moment. Hello, son. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you, son? Thank you for shining on me today, son. As always, you never let me down. All right, all right, guys. I am always at my spot. I keep saying that. I'm always at my spot. So I'm going to keep saying that because guess what? I just feel like the universe is getting me in the right place at the right time. And so are you. That's a word for you. Because if you're watching me, we are a, we are energetically aligned. And that means whatever is going on for me is going on for you. So uh, stick around. Because today is your day, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hi, dog and I already. We got us a good night's sleep. I'm feeling so much better. I'm telling you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you the truth. Last week, woo wee I was diagnosed with acute sinusitis, right? And my membranes were infected. It was a bacteria infection, right? And uh, it was it was it was a trip. It really was. It was an experience. I was swollen, everything, but they, you know, dosed me up on some antibiotics and Gatorade and plenty of rest, you know. And I'm I'm feeling ninety eight percent better. So uh, I am ready, guys. <laughs> How are 
you guys do it. I hope you are feeling energized, empowered, and encouraged on this fun, fantastic, funky Friday. I know I am. So welcome, everybody, to the Ride Along with Vanessa Morning Show. I am Vanessa Klinger, your intuitive life strategist and life coach motivator. Turn this car off. It is hot already, guys. I mean, look at, oh, yeah, 84 at 8 o'clock in the morning, only in sunny Florida. That's right. That's right. Good day, spirit. Good day, cozy. Good day, Dr. Wayne. Dolores Cannon, Stuart Wilde, Reverend Ike, and Wallace D. Waddles. That's right. Yeah, they're all in here today. My cousin Lewis is here. Hey, cousin Lewis. That means it's going to be a fun day. Hey, Uncle Glenn. That means it's going to be an enlightening day. That's right. So I hope you guys are ready. You know what day it is. It is fun, fantastic, funky Friday. And every Friday we do our Friday song to get that vibration high, to get you in sync. To be at the right place at the right time. You guys ready? Hold on just a second. Let me uh, check on things here. I got this new light, right? That's up here. I don't even know if it's work. If it works, let me see. Nope, it don't even do nothing with this Florida sun. So let me take this off right quick. Hopefully, I can get it off without doing something to the phone here. Yep, I did it. Okay, so let me put that back in my purse and uh, let's get the Friday song going here. That's right. That's right. We've got the. Uh, Got the social media world launched. Everybody's launched. And uh, I had to create me another Facebook account because, uh, you know, I couldn't figure out my password. I said, I'll just create another account. That way I can tune in and see everybody's comments while uh, I'm doing the show. Yep. Go away. <laughs> right. So, um, all right, be quiet. There we go. And uh, so I had to do that right quick. Look, I'm going to have to turn this car on because it is just. All right. All right. So told you guys what happened, you know, the last week and the, and the week, you know, I was just like, you know, I, I was feeling it. OK. But, you know. When you finally get into your space and you start seeing the word of God operate in your life. All those scriptures that you quoted that you memorized. Eventually, they will become a part of you. And you will start to see them manifest in your life. So, which were, which were uh, scriptures that I'm reminded of? All things work together for the good. Let me tell you. Okay, so. Okay. So, while I was recuperating from this acute sinusitis, I noticed some things and I let go of some things. And, you know, you don't realize that you could, you know, be free from something until you don't have it for a while. Right. And uh, I discovered that while I was uh, last week and everything. And I'm noticing that I'm sleeping better. I'm noticing that I'm recalling information much quicker. I noticed a lot of things where I'm getting vibra more vibrationally. My vibration is 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 I'm, I'm getting in sync and. And, and synchronistic, everything is, is starting to just like happen, you know, and I'm like, who oh, no, right? But all things work together for the good. Okay, so it's 11 minutes after. Come here, you gotta earn your keep. Come here, come here, come on, let's go. He, he don't believe nothing I tell him in the morning because he know we're doing the show and he don't, oh, come on now, but Bill. Come on now, you got to earn your keep. You know it's ride a long day and you get a treat treat. So say hello, uh, ride along mascot. Say hello, hot dog. You guys hear him? <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, come on, boo boo. Wink at him. Wink, boo. You gonna wink. Honey, he don't be feeling it. He don't be having it. He, all he be wanting to do is one thing, and that's to go to the park and play. So we will do that after the show. Okay, that's hot dog. Okay, so here on the beach in Florida, sunny Florida. And uh, so I got something to share with you, okay? All right, so uh, you guys know, some of you know, if not, you don't know. So my co host and um, network partner, Michelle Master Washington, she and I have never physically met. 
we met in 2020. You guys know the story. We launched our uh, Spirits of Speaking. You know, and now we're here on Stay in Love TV. She has her own show now. Uh, today's Michelleology. And uh, see, she don't know this, but I do. And I'm going to share it. So I was planning on making a trip to Atlanta in August. And we were going to do a, a, a live show where we were actually together and everything and all of that. But luck be having it that uh, and the stars and everything lined up where she is actually in Florida this weekend. So guess what? I will get a chance to finally meet my great co-host, Michelle Massey Washington, on uh, tomorrow. I'm driving up to Orlando and she and I are going to connect and meet up for the first time. And, you know, it just my heart is filled with joy because it's letting me know that things that I am uh, sending out and and, you know, not wishing, but des uh, desiring to experience is happening sooner than I imagine. And that's a word for y'all. Whatever it is that you are desiring to experience, not want, okay? Because that's creating from a space of lack. But desiring from a place uh, that you would like to experience is going to happen sooner than you think. Why? Because time is speeding up. It's speeding up. Because everybody's getting in, uh, getting in harmony. And when you get in harmony, things happen quicker for you because the power of uh, one could put a thousand flight, but two could put 10,000 a flight. So if you got a hundred thousand people on the same vibrational wavelength and frequency, honey, it's going to happen sooner than you think. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so I get a chance to finally see my co-host and network partner, Michelle Massey Washington, in about 24 hours. So I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. 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 So today we're going to be talking about giants. And uh, I've got an excellent word for you. I, I did my research and everything. and I got all this great information. I want to share it with you. And of course, you know, whatever spirit downloads, I'm going to impart to you and serve to you. And let me just say this. It's going to, th this word is for everybody. Okay. This is for everybody. All right. Look at there. Thought we're going to notifications. This word is for everybody. Right. So, uh, Go get yourself a refreshing beverage. I got mine. It's actually my fruit smoothie that I make every day now. I'm getting more and more plant-based, you know. I'm so happy about this. My body is happy. So go get you something refreshing to drink. And when we come back, we're going to talk about, they might be giants, but what are they really? Okay. So uh, go ahead, and when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna get started with the word. Okay. So uh, let me get rid of that. So stay tuned, everybody. Where are you? There you are. Stay in Love TV is your production to distribution solution to getting your message seen and heard. Having your own TV show with Stay in Love TV has never been easier than now. Stay in Love TV gives you the power to share your message with the world. Stop watching TV and start being watched on TV. Stay in Love TV offers real-time multicasting all with one click. This opportunity puts you on the world stage with an audience of over 200 million. In addition to your lower monthly subscription fees, you will also receive monthly network coaching and training from the network itself to ensure that before your first show premieres, you are set up for success. We at Stan Love TV bring over 20 years experience in sales, marketing, advertising, and business development. Stay in Love TV, purposeful entertainment, driven by love, empowered with passion, fueled with faith. Go to www.stayinlovetv.com and let's get started. This week's episode is sponsored by Hustle and Bling. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling. Lovely paparazzi designer pieces for only $5. That's right, $5. And don't worry about it if the kid gets in the jewelry box. They're only $5. Make sure you catch Allison 
Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, live on Instagram and Facebook, promoting some of these wonderful fashion fixes that you'll enjoy. And if you miss it, check out the website. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that bling. Hustle and bling. Hello, hello, everyone. Join me and the great Michelle Massey Washington for another season of Spiritually Speaking and Awakening, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on Stay in Love TV. Welcome. You have just entered today's Michelleology. I'm Michelle. I'm your spiritual evolutionist and your motivator. In today's Michelleology, we provide you with insight that's needed to take a deeper look into your consciousness and provide tools that will open up the doors to your higher self. Get ready for a now awakening. Remember, once you go in, you'll never be without. That's right, that's right. Once you go in, you'll never be without. So so join us Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Stay in Love TV. You know, and go ahead and download the app because it's available on iOS and Android. So download the app and you can watch us from anytime, anywhere, wherever you like, as long as you have an internet connection or, you you, you know, you have a phone. <laughs> you have a phone. So uh, anyway, you can get internet. Uh, 7, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Monday mornings, 7 a.m. You know how we love that, 7, right? 7 a.m. Join Mich- the great Michelle Massey Washington for today's Michelleology. I'm telling you, when I, I was editing the videos, right? Because I, I, like I like to know what I'm doing, you know, before I bring people on to, to assist me with all this stuff, you know, these experts. So I, I wanted to know. So I'm editing the videos. And honey, let me tell you something. It, as as each of these videos progressed, they got better and better. And, you know, you guys just don't know that when you are driven by purpose, you can be going through hell or high water, but as long as you have the capability and the accessibility, the things to be able to keep moving, then spirit will give you, uh, empower you to do that and, 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 and assist you and encourage you to keep keep on doing what you're doing, right? That's my Lewis, and uh, and that's exactly what she did, you know. In spite, in spite of, that's the word for the day. In spite of, keep doing what you're doing, okay? Because let me tell you something. I'm in my promised land, and I want each and every one of you who are watching me to cross over into your promised land. But first, there are some things that you've got to do. you got to conquer some giants. So, and that's what we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about there might be giants, but what are they really? Okay. So you see all the scripture inspiration. So let me pull up my, uh, my scriptures here. Let me find my email here because I, e- I have to email it to myself. Because it's just easier that way and, and it, it, it works, all right? So uh, you see all the scriptures there. So let me find the email I sent myself last night. I'm getting more and more organized, you guys, you know. So I'm really grateful. All right. Some call them giants, but what are they really? Okay. And uh, this is actually inspired from a website that I found, you know, because I, I Google, I research, you know. And uh, uh, the reference is in the, the scrolling banner there, but it's seven types of evil spirits. And I was like, evil spirits? And I was like, these, these are giants that they, were, that they had to conquer when they, when they went over, uh, crossed over with Joshua. So I was like, oh my God, this is great. So I said, I want to share it with you guys. Okay, so here we go. Scripture inspiration. This is the main scripture. Deuteronomy 7, verses 1 through 2. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before you, he going to drive them out now and make space for you. Won't he do it? <laughs> the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Havites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before you, you shall smite them and utterly destroy them. 
thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Let me, let me say that again. Thou shalt make no covenant, don't go into, come into agreement with them, nor show mercy unto them. Okay. All right. They might be giants, but what are they really? Okay. Okay. So, uh, and also I want to, I want to give you uh, one more Romans eight, two. And because you belong to him, the power of the life given spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. They might be giants, but what are they doing? Okay. So, Let's let's speak to each and every one of them, because we got time. Okay. The Hittites. So I did some research. The Hittites, uh, the meaning of their name is sons of terror. And let me give you an abbreviated explanation of the effects of the sons of terror. Hittites, right? That's a giant. And I, I was looking at this, I was like, you know, and you would consider him a subliminal, subconscious. Uh, master expert, right? He's a he's a he's an executive coach, and he's going to be speaking about the the power of your subconscious and you know how important it is. But sublim that's what subliminal torment is. So <clears throat> during the ages of zero to seven, that's when everything is being programmed into your subconscious, right? It's been written in your code, your internal code, right? And it's been it's been and it's been fit into your chip. I I, I can see your chip, your subconscious. Right. So it's written on this little chip and the, everything that's said to you, it's, it's, it's being recorded. Right. So these subliminal torments creates phobias, terror, depression and deceit, because guess what? It's a lie. But that's how it starts. Now, that's the Hittite spirit. And I know each and every one of y'all watching me. Why, why you listen to me? You know that at some point in your life, and maybe even now, you're experiencing that right now. And y'all know the whole basis of, of Stay in Love Motivations and Stay in Love TV. And the reason why I'm on here screaming at y'all and trying to get you all to really wake up and listen is that you need to transform your life. People think that's external. No, baby. That's internal. You need an internal transformation. And now you know why. Because until you are able to possess the land that God has so given you, you got to conquer some giants. But today, this episode, we're going to cover every last one of them, all seven of them. And now you're going to be equipped to be able to go in, go in yourself and conquer these mighty giants. What is this going to do when you do it, Vanessa? Well, for one thing, I know for sure, for certain, when you do that and you conquer every last one of them, you ain't going to die. That old version of you going to die. But then you're going to arise like the phoenix. And you're going to go in and you're going to possess. Now, see, it said the, God, that God has given it to you. Now, what I mean possess is, that means to occupy. People think that means to take. No, you ain't got to take nothing, baby, when you go into your promised land. Because guess what? It's waiting for you. You just got to go in and occupy. That's what, that's what possess means. You got to go in and occupy. Your promised land. Because it's already ready for you. Won't he do it? I'm telling you. Okay, so next one. Gergeshites. Clay dwellers. <laughs> now, this spirit focused on earthliness, unbelief, and what cannot be seen. The faithless ones. Well, I ain't never seen nothing, nobody do nothing like that before. So I don't understand why you think you can do that. That's that subliminal message or uh, internal and external. That's why you can't be telling about everything. Just move in silence. Move in silence. All the while you're conquering that Gergeshite spirit. How you doing that? We're going we gonna to figure out how to do that next next week when Jay's on. He wrote a book and everything. He's on his uh, book tour. He's going to be a guest of spiritual speaking. Jay Nolan. You focus on earthliness. 
What is earthliness? Material stuff. Material stuff. And you and you don't believe it because you can't see it. That means you are faithless. Okay. So just like think of, you know, the Hittites is what you focus on. Gergeshites is the faithless. You are faithless because you don't believe it. You don't, you know, you don't see it. And if you don't see it, it, ain't, it, it don't exist. Well, without faith, it's impossible to believe God. And it pains our creator when we don't believe him. It pains your spirit. Your higher version, it pains you when you don't believe in yourself. That's why you're depressed. You don't believe in yourself. You don't believe that you're capable of doing whatever it is that you are designed to do, my love. Could it be that a Gergeshite done moved into you and taken over? It's time for you to conquer it today. Today. Okay. I, I'm going to tell y'all how to do it. I just told you. You got to transform yourself, baby. Now, the exact opposite, essentially. But Jay going to break it down to us next week. Okay? Amorites, mountain people, renowned, obsession with earthly fame and glory, domineering. Now, I consider the Amorites a lover of themselves because I'm more, right? Is the first few words. It says Amorites. That means you and didn't he say in the last days men will be lovers of themselves? Are we in those days? Well, don't nobody give a rip by nobody but themselves. If it ain't if it ain't if it ain't nothing for me, I, if it ain't gonna benefit me, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Not understand that whatever you sow, you reap, right? See what I'm saying? Not what whatever you sow, you reap. So Amorites, lovers of themselves, obsessed with fame. Fame and recognition and glory. Glory, that means that means somebody is uh celebrating you. Look, let me tell y'all something. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be celebrated. I'm doing my purpose. And I'm serving you. I'm of service. So when you when okay, I got it. When you are operating from a place of service and you serving others, all this stuff you you that 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 Amorite spirit done convinced that this is what you got to do to have it. You are, you already get it. You'll be celebrated already. You'll be famous in your own right, but from a good space. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm making good time today, y'all. Next one is the Canaanites, lowlands people. This is a good one. That's, my, that's why, that's why, I, uh, yep. Addictions, perversions, exaggerated people pleasing. Okay, so listen. I'm extremely familiar with the Canaanites. Me and that giant been hanging out my whole life. It actually started when I was just a little child, when I was molested. Then that Canaanite spirit came to live with me for almost 50 years. It introduced me to addictions, drugs, alcohol, perversions. Y'all know what perversion is. Yeah, fulfilling every sexual fantasy that I, I could I could physically and mentally and emotionally get into. Exaggerate exaggerated people pleasing. I wanted to please others. So, you know, men, people, places, things, women. So I did all that stuff. Not knowing that there was a Canaanite spirit driving me to do it. Why? Because during the ages of zero seven, that's when things 
are recorded and, and uh, become a part of you. But God clearly told them that he's going to bring them to land where you go to occupy and cast out many nations before you. So <clears throat> when, when these spirits come up, that means it's time for you to, no, let me, let me back this up. In order, okay, this is a prerequisite, in order for you to occupy your promised land, whatever that looks like to you, you got to conquer these damn giants. Point blank, period. You got to conquer them now. I've been delivered, yet yeah, you still got that one. Don't want to be covering all of them, okay? You got to conquer them now. Okay, here we go. Next one. Parasites belonging to a village, limited vision, laziness, and low self-esteem. I'm just not motivated to do nothing. Well, I don't see how that could be done. I don't, I can't do nothing like that. See, I understand. See, another objective of these giants is to keep you where you don't do nothing. Or you just sit and you outside your promised land, hoping, wishing, praying, oh, if only this would have. Look, I'm trying to tell you how you can go in and possess, occupy your promised land. This is the year to do it. But you got to do something. I don't know what I need to do. Let me tell you something. When you finally decide on something, your universe, your world will bend and accommodate to make sure that that decision comes to pass. To make sure that whatever it is you decide you want to do, I want, I'm telling you. Okay, listen. Everything that I've decided. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Okay, we're going to talk about the drugs, right? Because that, that was a major, major, major player in my life, okay? Y'all know, some of y'all know the story. I used to read Bible scriptures and do lines of cocaine, okay? Because for some reason, I knew that eventually God would win. The God in me would win. So I was operating in parallel, doing a line, reading the scripture. People thought it was crazy, but I didn't. Sometimes I get so high and be, I'd be thrown out. I'd be, I, they would throw me out of a party. Because <laughs> I started talking about the Lord and angels and spirits and all that. Start scaring the hell out of everybody. They'd be like, well, that's a you got to go. <laughs> to the point, I just, started, I just started hanging out by myself doing my drugs. I'm like, I don't need nobody. I got all these. I got my own party people right here. I got my I got my giant spirits. I got my 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 evil spirits hanging out with me. I don't need y'all. <laughs> but when you finally decide on something, and I remember I said, God, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to experience this anymore. See, you got to know how to talk. You got to know what to ask and how to ask. I don't want to experience this anymore. Okay, not do experience it's a difference I don't want this to be a part of me my story anymore so I'm asking for the support angel spirits God if y'all will assist me and, and get me in a space where I no longer desire this experience That prayer right there covers everything. What'd you say, Vanessa? When this live is done, rewind the video, okay? Until you get it down pat 
and write it down and make it an affirmation. And I'm telling you, within 90 days, uh-uh, thank you, Spirit. Within 30 days, you're going to notice a change. You're going to start attracting things to continue to empower you to allow you to meet that objective. I guarantee you. Okay. Okay, so the parasites, limited vision, laziness, and low, low self-esteem. There's something about lazy people. I was like, because see, I'm a Sagittarius moon, so I, I have a psycho... Um, I'm a psychological mind, right? I'm always analyzing stuff, right? I'm Libra Sun, Cap Rising, Sag Moon. So I'm always an asking why. I'm always trying to analyze why, what would make somebody do that? Or what would make somebody not be so motivated to even just exist in a better space in their life? Right? And I was like, well, maybe it was their environment. Maybe it was their conditioning. It's always your conditioning, right? It's always the environment that you were brought up in and, and what you chose to believe. But the great thing about God, right, and the Bible, it is a source, right? The great thing about it is that all it takes is for you to remain open and if you just have one little, it's a, it's a mustard seed faith, yeah, just a little bit, just a, just a little inclination to want to do better, be better, have better. And that open up the floodgates, honey. Now, the reason why you don't see the manifestation of it is because of these damn giants. But when you know the source, when you understand and understand and know what your enemy looks like and what powers them you're able to identify then you can then you can do something about it but if you if you have an enemy in disguise and you and you be robbed day and night you'd be like well i don't know what he looked like i don't know nothing about it then you cannot identify what it is right and then you cannot have the ability and the know-how to overpower them. But this right here, this right here, this is giving you the intel that you need to overpower the enemy that is within you, the enemy that is driving you, the enemy that is keeping you from your promised land. Let me calm down. So, you know what? That's why I know whoever watches this, it's for you. Now, if you don't do nothing about it, it's on you now, baby. But I can wash my hands. Wash my hands. Because I told y'all, I'm fulfilling my purpose. And when I'm done, I'm going to get up out of here. Okay? Okay, because this place ain't my home. I'm going to a better place, baby. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Habites. <clears throat> Villages. The vision is limited to enjoying an earthly inheritance. Hedonism. Let me say that again. Because you just gave it to me, Spirit. Thank you. Vision limited to enjoying an earthly inheritance. Hedonism. Okay, so. <clears throat> me and my husband, Kevin, you know, he was a Taurus, right? Something about them Tauruses. And, uh. He, uh, we loved, you know, good things, right? So, he, we, he, he took me to Jamaica, went to Negril. This was in the 90s before videos, before the videos were really popular, right? So I'm glad about that. <laughs> we went to Negril, okay? And uh, it, was the, it was hedonism. That's every physical pleasure you could experience. He actually proposed to me that weekend. Uh -huh, right, keep it up. We didn't go to the park. And uh, we had a great time. 
hedonism. Vision limited to enjoying an earthly inheritance. Earthly inheritance. That means everything of this earth, right? Don't you want to leave a legacy and all that stuff? Not no material legacy. Uh -uh. The legacy I'm leaving behind is love. I was telling Michelle uh, during a Sunday night on Spiritual Speaking and Awakening, I said, I want my last check to bounce. I don't want to leave nothing material here. Do you understand? Don't you leave for your children and grandchildren. I ain't got no children. <coughs> I got nieces and nephews. I do have insurance in case I do die for my relatives. That's enough. Houses, lands, and all that. I don't care about none of that. Clothes, jewelry. Hey, my insurance will be distributed to my family members, and then they can go buy their own jewelry and houses, whatever they want to with it. I ain't leaving nothing. Okay? Earthly inheritance. See, people got so caught up in that Bible scripture where a good man leaves an inheritance for his children and children. Let me tell you what that means. That means this, baby. Spiritual inheritance. Because if I can leave you with the, the information that you need, then all that other stuff will line up and you'll have it. I ain't got to leave you nothing but enlightenment and empowerment. That's what I'm leaving. And love, of course. Because love is the key. Okay? Have eyes. Vision limited to enjoying an earthly inheritance and hedonism. Okay? Here we go. Last one. <laughs> Jebusites. Threshers. What is that? Ooh. Suppression of spiritual authority and fellow believers. Legalism. Suppression of spiritual authority in fellow believers, legalism. Suppression of spiritual authority in fellow believers, legalism. For so many years, the woman has been suppressed in their spiritual authority. Suppressed, oppressed, depressed in their spiritual authority. Why? Because the woman is the one that gives birth. The woman is the one that gives life. It takes a man with a seed, but the woman is the incubator, baby. Without the woman, none of us will be here. So dig that. So that Jebusite spirit, that's why I had to run for us out to church. Y'all know what church I'm talking about. Suppression of, but look how, won't he do it, y'all? But look how a way was made in order for me to fulfill my purpose, honey. Suppression of spiritual authority in fellow believers. Legalism. You can't do that. You can't do that. Let me tell you something. I don't need nobody to tell me I can't do this, I can't do that. Because guess what? When I arrived here, I was equipped with everything that I needed spiritually to get me and to keep me from doing right and wrong. How you know that? It's a part of our design, baby. It's written in our internal code. I don't need nobody to tell me if you kill somebody, I'm going to feel it. You know when you are out of line. You know that. The spirit going to tell you. But legalism, see, legalism is all about control. So that Jebusite spirit, if you're part of something, it's, it's, it's intention is to get you, keep you in control. So run from, of course, run from anything that tries to legalize you. Now, y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about running stop signs and, you know, 
Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And then all I get and get an understanding, okay? Suppression of spiritual authority. So if you're somewhere and what's the word, God? Cast out these giants. You got to cast them out. You got to get them out of you. You got to conquer them. Now, as, as I'm saying that, I'm reminded about David and Goliath. Of course, he used to be the biggest giant, you know, and he used a, a stone and a sling. You know, he used the weapon that he was familiar with. So in order to conquer your giants, you got to use the weapon that you are familiar with. Familiar. Family. I ain't talking about your external family. I'm talking about your internal family. So whatever that you are familiar with, that means, okay, thank you, Spirit. When you decide that you want to conquer the giants within you, the weapon that you are familiar with will be revealed to you. And you will know what to do. See, I'm just giving you the information, right? You can take it and run with it and do whatever you please. You can consume it and digest it so that you can begin your next steps or you can spit it out and keep on hanging out with them. I did for a number of years. They fine, honey. But the ultimate objective is to destroy you and keep you from your promised land. So it's up to you. Whatever promised land that looks like to you, if you're ready to go in and possess, occupy that, then you're going to have to conquer these giants. How do I do that, Vanessa? I told you, you got to transform yourself. And that's the first thing. You got to just decide. And when you decide, you decree it. And thou shalt decree a thing. And a way shall be established. That's all you got to do. Decide and decree. And declare. I deci I've decided. I'm decreeing. And I'm declaring that this time next year I will be in my promised land or the, at the end of the year or in three months whatever you decide to create and declare you watch how the tools, the techniques and the ability and the capability will be awakening you and be, and be brought to you. God is a servant right? So he gonna serve you what you need in order to take out your giants but you gotta do it you gotta wanna do it you have to desire it. But if not, you're going to still be here. Being ruled by all these giants. Subliminal torments, phobias, terror, depression, deceit, earthliness, unbelief, obsession with fame, glory, domineering, addictions, perversions, people pleasing, limited vision, laziness, low self-esteem, earthly inheritance, hedonism, suppression of spiritual authority, and legalism. That's a lot, ain't it? Honey, let me tell you something. When you finally conquer your giants and you start to occupy your promised land. Now, look what he said now. And then he said, Once, this, this is one of the ways you can don't do it. He said, show no mercy. Don't come into agreement with them. That means you 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 sever the ties, the agreement that you had with them by allowing them to possess you, occupy you, rule you. Show no mercy. Make no covenant with them. Because it said, when he delivers you from it. Okay, so he says, and I got two minutes. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before you, you're going to bring it before you. And you're going to have to decide. Nope. Contract is severed. I don't want you a part of me no more. Now, wouldn't it be easy if you could just say that and they just disappear? But they ain't how it work. When you, but that's the first thing you do. I don't want to be a part of you. I don't want you to be a part of me. The contract is severed. I no longer want to be a part of you. You to be a part of me anymore. Now you have to put in the work. By conquering them. See, people think you gotta battle it. And you know, that was the that's that was the one thing that the church 
They always want us to focus on what we need to do outside of ourselves. But you need to go within yourself. How do you do that? Meditate on the law day and night. You shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. So if you meditate, whatever that is, you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. Then you have to think, act, and do. So when you think about it, meditate on it, act, act as if, and then do. Then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. And then you'll be able to conquer those giants in your life. It's a daily practice. It really is. You make it a practice and practice makes perfect. People thought perfect was, you know, being just holy and all that. No, perfect means being mature in whatever you're practicing. So as long as you're implementing the practice of being delivered from all those spirits and that influence in your life, you'd be like, man, I don't care about none of this stuff. None of this stuff moves me. And they always around, right? Because it's an influence. It's an energy. But you don't have to be a part of it. And then once you get and you annihilate these giants that are in you, then you got to replace it with something. What you going to replace it with? That overwritten code? That you don't rewritten in your subconscious? These are walls. You're building up walls to keep these giants out of you and in you and influencing you. Spiritual walls. Am I? Yes, I'm perfect in my own right. Yes, I am. I'm mature. Because when I was a child, I did childish things. I put away those childish things. Because I'm thinking like a man now. Human. I'm thinking like a man now. I'm thinking as an adult. I'm adulting. I'm spiritually mature. So when you spiritually mature, you do spiritually mature things. And you possess What's been promised to you? You occupy it. There should be no longer any more excuses if you continue to watch this episode and allow it to really just permeate your being and do whatever spirit is uh, influencing you and guiding you to do. I'm a living witness. You know, it's something about people say you're arrogant. No, I'm not arrogant. I just figure some things out. That's what makes me confident. I figured some things out about me and my purpose. And when you figure some things out about you and your purpose, people say, you know, the people, oh, she thinks she's, no, <laughs> that's you, baby. That You being driven by a spirit, a giant. I'm being driven by love, okay? Because I done figured some things out. And I done put in the work and did what was necessary in order to get here. Took a while to get me here and I'm going to take my time. <laughs> so I don't hear what you say or what you think about me. I mean, I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about what I do every day and then when I lay my, my head down on my pillow at night. <sighs> And I can say, good day. Today's been a good day. And I'm in agreement with myself spiritually. But when I say that, honey, I've been sleeping like a baby for two years. Thank you. And you can too, if you conquer the giants in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you for sharing uh, social media world. I want to thank you for caring. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm so excited because tomorrow I get to see my co-host and network partner for the first time. We go, we may do a live, a quick one, because we're going to be having a good time and, and enjoying a, each other and just uh, maybe uh, just enjoying. And uh, we're going to do a quick live, maybe a couple pictures, post some. But um, I'm looking forward to finally meeting the great Michelle Massey Washington, my co-host of Spiritually Speaking and Awakening, and my network uh, partner of Stay in Love TV. This is very exciting. It's like, whoa, I'm getting misty. So uh, 
we 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 gonna post a couple pictures tomorrow because I gotta go to Orlando and do all that, right? So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank you for sharing. I wanna thank you for caring. And uh guys, if you do what is necessary, you can possess your promised land. Here, here, and here. Right. But you gotta do the work. Join us Sunday on Spiritually Speaking and Awakening, me and the great Michelle Massey Washington for another except, exciting episode of uh, Spiritually Speaking and Awakening. And we, we're, we're actually, uh, the theme of this uh, season is the book of Revelation, A Corrupted Bride, you know, and we, we are going to Revelation because we are in the days of Revelation. So I encourage and invite you guys to tune in Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Stand Love TV. Uh, go ahead and download the app right now while you're watching me. I'm available iOS and Android. You get to watch us live. And, uh, you know, next week I was sharing you, we're going to have, we're going to run the ads next week. Jay Nolan, the executive coach and mentor. Uh, and uh, we, we, it's, it's going to be an exciting time. And he's going to be talking about your uh, subconscious mind and his new book launch. So we, uh, we're looking forward to that uh, next week. Uh, but this week, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Sam Love TV, Spiritually Speaking and Awakening. And then Monday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, today's Michelleology with the great Michelle Massey Washington. All of it right here on Stay in Love TV. You know, guys, <laughs> I got a network. <laughs> I'm very happy about it. You know, I really am. Um, so thank you for your support. I just want you to watch and download the apps. That's all. If you want to contribute, that's great. But honey, <laughs> I got a full-time job running a business and a full-time job in my tech world. So uh, thank you guys for support, however way you want to express it and show it. I appreciate you. I am Vanessa Klinger, your intuitive life strategist and life coach motivator. And until next week on the Ride Along with Vanessa Morning Show, stay in love, everybody, and be empowered. Stay in Love TV is your production to distribution solution to getting your message seen and heard. Having your own TV show with Stay in Love TV has never been easier than now. Stay in Love TV gives you the power to share your message with the world. Stop watching TV and start being watched on TV. Stay in Love TV offers real-time multicasting all with one click. This opportunity puts you on the world stage with an audience of over 200 million. In addition to your lower monthly subscription fees, you will also receive monthly network coaching and training from the network itself to ensure that before your first show premieres, you are set up for success. We at Stan Love TV bring over 20 years experience in sales, marketing, advertising, and business development. Stay in Love TV, purposeful entertainment, driven by love, empowered with passion, fueled with faith. Go to www.stayinlovetv.com and let's get started. Thank you.